Hey, what is going on, everybody?、Uh, welcome back to the brand new year of 2020. I、uh, hope you guys are doing well today, and I hope you're ready to learn a little bit more about Swift UI development. Today's lesson what exactly do I want to teach you guys how to do here? Well, I noticed that inside of a lot of Swift UI applications that I'm building out right now, there are certain situations where I want to present a modal full screen like this here. And、uh, also, I want to include a dismiss and also a X button on the top right corner. And I noticed that this isn't exactly available inside of the standard Swift UI implementation. So instead, what you get is this standard modal here. You'll see it doesn't reach all the way to the top of the screen here,、uh, but something that's nice is that you can drag it down to dismiss like so. Okay, so in today's video, I want to show you guys how to build out both of these applications right here. And I'll also show you how to animate this guy all the way to the top, like so, and dismiss it like that there. So,、uh, this is pretty simple, but certain aspects of the implementation is a little bit tricky. So, I'll walk you guys through this in today's lesson step by step right now. Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to the coding session for today's video. I、uh, hope you guys are ready to get your hands a little bit dirty with some code here. Uh, on the left side of the screen, we have a brand new Swift UI project created inside of Xcode 11.3, I believe.、Uh, on the right side, we have the Swift UI preview. I'm just going to hit resume, and you'll see our application looks pretty much like this right now.、Uh, we have a navigation view as the root view component. We have the standard navbar title, and also a button inside of here. So,、uh, so far, so good, and nothing too complicated. I'll close that on the left side. And、uh, the goal for today's video is to create this full screen modal presentation. It's actually a little bit tricky. So,、uh, what I want to do first is to actually show you guys how to trigger a standard modal, and then we'll talk about this guy on the right. Okay, the first bit of code I want to modify is to trigger a modal presentation with this button in the middle there. And、uh, inside of Swift UI, this is pretty easy. I'm going to call presented. And、uh, let's go for this one with a sheet here. So, hopefully, you guys can see my screen.、Uh, the very first variable is a binding Boolean. And then the right side is the actual modal that you want to see. So, this guy is probably easier. So, let me hit a backspace here, backspace, and brace, brace. And、uh, let's say for this guy, I want to just show a standard text component. So, here is my modal. And then for the actual Boolean parameter, the first parameter here, I want to use some kind of state variable. So, instead of Swift UI, you have these state variables that you can use. And、uh, we are going to use false at the very beginning because we're not presenting anything. And then finally, for the is presented Boolean variable here,、uh, you just want to access your binding of your state variable with a dollar sign right here. And now the code should be okay. I'm going to hit try again. And sometimes you have to pray that the preview works for you. So I'm going to stop and play, click on this guy right here. Something should happen, right? But as you can see, nothing is going on because inside of the button here,、uh, we actually want to trigger this guy by using the toggle call like that. All right, this looks good to me. Let me just click on this guy right here. And then you'll see our standard modal. Is now being presented just like so. So here is my modal. You can close that guy off if you wanted to do so. Okay, so that's pretty much the trick. If you want to trigger some kind of dismiss by clicking on this guy here,、uh, you can do something similar. So let me just use another button here. And it comes with action, enter, backspace, brace, brace, and use some kind of button right here. And let's call self.isPresented and let's call toggle back to false. Uh, hopefully, this stuff is pretty self explanatory. Click on that. It's going to toggle this variable back to false, hence, dismissing it using this little bit of a binding variable. Okay, this is the standard modal presentation. And now let's get to the, <laughs> the meat and potatoes of today's video.、Uh, as you can see, I can click on this guy right here, and、uh, we can present some kind of blue screen or blue modal full screen like this here. So, Uh, how exactly do we do that, right? Well, what I'm going to do is to introduce a little bit of a hack. I am going to cut all of this code here, and I'm going to use a z stack as my root view component. 
uh, inside of my Z stack is everything else. So everything is going to perform like the way it did before, but just kind of looks like that for now. And uh, that's pretty much what I have so far. I don't really want to see this little bit of a sheet code anymore. So let me disable that. And uh, now you can see that if I click on this, uh, the standard sheet is no longer showing. Okay, uh, maybe I should move this somewhere down here. I don't want to confuse you guys. And here is my view structure right now. Uh, the advantage of this Z stack is I can introduce something like a color.red. And what that's going to do is it's going to put the red in front of everything because that's how a Z stack layering works. So Z stack is here and the red layer is on top of everything. Okay. Now, instead of just using a standard color of red, I would like to use another container. And normally you're gonna use a Z stack, H stack or V stack. Uh, I'm just gonna use a Z stack for now. And instead of my Z stack, I'm going to use a spacer and also give this a background color of, uh, let's call this the color of yellow. And then once you see that, you'll have your yellow Z stack. Um, furthermore, I'm going to use the ignore of all edges and that's going to bring it uh, all the way to the top and bottom. Okay, so here is, you know, two layers. We have our navigation view and our yellow layer on top of it. So what you want to do here is you want to make sure that the yellow uh, that you're seeing right now, you want to make sure that the offset is correct. So you can use zero for X and let's use a dummy value of 100 for now. As you can see, if you keep on increasing this by 200, 300, and 400, uh, the application will sl uh, slowly start to change like so. So now the next question is, well, instead of using the value of 400 or you know maybe 500, uh, you have to figure out how much you want to offset this yellow view by. And it, there's a lot of different ways to figuring out uh, how tall this entire device is, but uh, one easy way is to use the UI application and let me use key window for now. I'll fix this later. But you can say frame and height like so. And you want to nil coalesce it to the value of zero. And uh, once you have this fully offset by the uh, key window's frame height, uh, you can no longer see this yellow view. And then the last thing you need to do is to make sure that you use some kind of Boolean to trigger uh, some kind of showing and dismissing of that yellow modal. And what I mean is I'm going to test against this value here. So this will become a lot clearer uh, once you see the code. Uh, what I'm going to do is if the presentation is true, I'm going to set the offset to zero. Otherwise the offset is what you're seeing right now, which is the entire screen. So you click on that. You'll now see the, uh, the offset is on the zero value here. Okay, the last thing you want to do uh, before you trigger the actual showing of this yellow screen is you want to use an animation. Uh, inside of Swift UI, you can say with animation like so, and it just put the code that triggers the presentation inside of the animation block. And once you do that, you'll see this like so. Okay, that's not too bad. And if you want to have something inside of this screen that dismisses the modal, uh, that bit of code is a little bit trickier. And hopefully I can show you how this looks like. Uh, inside of the video today. Uh, the way I'm going to illustrate this is to use a V stack here. And uh, let me put this button here, grab that. And for this guy, let's just, you know, modify this to say dismiss or whatever you want really. So once I do that, I hopefully can get this to start showing something. And you'll see the dismiss button is showing and it's no longer covering the screen. Uh, that's a little bit trickier to explain, but the way I'm going to make it cover the screen is to include some spacers. So you can put a spacer here, a spacer here, and that's going to sandwich the button in the middle like so. So dismiss, show, and dismiss. Uh, you can apply the same trick to kind of widen the entire modal view. Uh, I'm going to use a H stack and instead of say spacer and a sandwich the V stack uh, inside of a spacer as well. So click on that you'll see that button in the middle. Uh, if you guys know a better trick or a better way of getting this to expand a full screen, uh, please do let me know. All right, for this guy, I might wanna use a headline font just to make sure that the UI looks a little bit better. So it looks like that. Uh, let's give this guy a foreground color of white as well. 
And so clicking into that now, we have our dismiss, we have our show, dismiss, and show. Okay, everybody, so now that we have most of the modal implemented correctly, uh, the last thing I wanna do before I wrap up today's video is to include this X button at the top right corner. And uh, again, this might be a little bit tricky to implement if you're not familiar with Swift UI. So I'll show you how to do that right now. Uh, first thing I'll do is I'm gonna move this spacer right here, just remove that completely. And you'll see that the actual button is now somewhere up here. So it's somewhere up here instead of being in the middle because that spacer was removed. And uh, the way to actually fix this now is to somehow offset this button or just pat it down a little bit. So you can say padding of 100. And now what you'll see is that the button, instead of being somewhere up here, it's somewhere in the top portion of the application. And instead of you know providing a random arbitrary value of 100, uh, you might want to use something that's a little bit smarter. So let's use the application uh, shared and key window again, which is deprecated, but uh, I'll show you how to fix that in just one moment. Uh, this guy has the safe area insets and top like so. Uh, I believe the padding right here needs to be top and comma, and that should be okay. All right, so as you can see, the safe area inset at the very top allows you to access how large the notch is. Uh, to fix this issue here and this issue down here, basically key window has been deprecated. Uh, you can find this code on Stack Overflow, but it should be windows.filter, and let's say $0 is key window, and that, and first, I think that's the right code. So if you wanna remove this warning, use this code as well, and you know you should be fine. Okay, click on that. This looks good, good, and good, and not so bad. So if you want to include this X on the right side, uh, what you can do is you can use an H stack. So hopefully this stuff isn't that bad by now. Uh, I'm gonna say H stack right here. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to cut this here. Uh, put a spacer in between, and let's just use text for now. And let's use X just to see where this button will show up. So that's the X right there. And we have our dismiss on the left side. Uh, this guy, what I'm using in the demo application is a demo or an image with a system name. And I believe it is X mark of circle and dot fill. Uh, I think it's gonna show up correctly. So let me hit a space right here, wait for this guy to re-render. Uh, show, stop, show. For some reason, the preview breaks for an unknown reason, but that's what we get. Uh, I believe you can say a foreground color of white, and uh, you can finally get this to show up correctly. Uh, you can click on that, but uh, basically, let's see, if you include the image inside of a button, you can actually trigger the dismiss like so. Uh, maybe I'll do that with this right here. So I believe you can say tab and gesture, uh, self that is presented and toggle like that. So I don't know if this is gonna work, but let's see, click on that and that and that. So this, you might wanna use a different set of animations. Uh, obviously something like that should work as well. Click on that, click on that, click on that and that as well. And then modal is looking pretty solid. All right, everybody, that's gonna wrap it up for today's lesson on building out a full screen model using Swift UI. If you wanna download the source code for today's lesson, uh, you can find the link in the description below. And uh, more importantly, if you wanna learn more about Swift UI development, make sure to check out the latest maps course using the link below as well. And if you guys have any ideas for future applications you guys wanna see me build out, uh, make sure to leave a comment down below as well. And that's going to be it for today. I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.